Hello, this is Stephen Mendes and welcome to another video. As you can see here, we have the sound list which you can download from the Roland website. And what we're going to be using this sound list for is to get the numbers. You see MSB, LSB and PC. Those three numbers are important if we want to select studio sets or tones from the external MIDI port so that without touching the FA we want to remote control the FA either from a software program or from another external source like a keyboard or a sequencer. So what we're doing in this experiment we're going to program some of these tones to, to buttons on the a Roland A800 Pro MIDI controller and then we are going to switch them within the FA. Notice that the user, we're going to come down here and we're going to zoom in here on the user tones are divided into banks of 128 because the PC numbers only go from 1 to 128. So we have to change the least significant byte here in order to be able to access user tones in different categories. So now we'll go to the Roland 800 Pro and program some of these numbers into it. Okay, we called up the A Pro editor and we are going to assign some buttons. We are going to use these A1, 2, A3, A4 buttons to uh, access uh, the studio sets and voices of the Roland FA06. So first we are going to set up a couple of changes for the SNS. And we are going to go with the A1 button. Once we click on a controller, we see the controller name here in the upper left uh, corner. Then we can type in the name. In this case, we will type glass pad because that is the name of the voice on the Roland FA06 that we're trying to address. We will then select channel message. We will select uh, program change plus bank select. We can leave MIDI channel 1 because we are going to change the voices on channel 1. Then we will put in the address that we found next to the glass pad in the Roland manual. And that was 95, 64, 99. We can transmit it on port 1 uh, if we are dealing with the external MIDI. That's quite fine. And um, we just click OK. Now we're going to change the studio set up here. If we're going to record a studio set, change, control change for a studio set, we once again select the button we are going to use to execute it then we are going to name the studio set we are calling in this case it will be a user one which is him practice and uh, once again it will be a channel message because the control channel is a normal midi channel it will be a program change plus a bank select. And since the address of the particular him practice user uh, studio set is has been saved at 85.013. That is the address for the 
e all the user memories have very specific addresses so you need to be sure obviously that you're addressing the correct one and once again port 1 is fine but we now have to change the MIDI channel to 15 because that is what channel 15 MIDI channel 15 is what we have set for studio set changes we change the studio set with 850 and we just put in the um, numbers up to 128 and if it's greater than 128 then it's LSB bank 1 and they will count again from there so we click ok and we're done okay so now we've set up our buttons from one to six we need to save this as a control map for the a800 pro so far everything is on the computer so what we want to do is name this FA06 experiment and then we want to save it. So now we have our A800 Pro hooked to the uh, USB port on the computer. We can transmit whatever we load from here to any control map we want by selecting this number and clicking transmit. So I had earlier transmitted the FAO6 experiment settings to control map 9. So after we hook it on to the FAO6 with the MIDI cable we go to control map and we select number 9 see FAO6 experiment and then we come see it's reading sound test 1 when I press A3 when I press A3, A2 and A1 it goes from sound test 01 to Beltry Vox to C1 to Glass Pad. So the last thing that we need to test now is do we actually have control over the studio set on control channel 15 or not? So what we're going to do now is we're going to press studio set again and we are going to press button A7 and lo and behold it has changed in practice and we press A6 and it's changed to creamy and we press A5 and it's changed back to FA preview so we have successfully assigned channel 15 normally we would want to assign a channel that we're not going to actually be playing on we definitely don't want to, uh, if we have it assigned to pad and not MIDI, see we have channel 16 assigned to pad, so we can't use channel 16 as the control channel. That's just important to understand. We don't want to use channel 16 and we don't want to use channel 10 because channel 10 is our drums. So we need to pick a channel for the control channel, in this case I have 15 so it's going to change we're not going to be able to change the um, 15 from external because whenever we send the MIDI in on channel 15 it's going to change the studio set instead as you can see there okay so thanks for watching and we're going to continue 
in the next video.